Aging is the leading cause of human death. So about 100, uh, 100, 150,000 people die every day across the globe. About 65% of them die of the age-related reasons. So that proportion is much higher than higher in the industrialized nations. So there are a number of hypotheses as to why aging occurs. The, the, for example, it is uh, programmed by different sets of genes and then DNA damage by uh, such as radicals in cells. So this aging is very hot topic right now to slow down our, our aging process. So every organism have, has different lifespan. So the longest day human has ever been to proven to live is 122 years. So the case of uh, John Clement. Whereas the lifespan of the um, wild time mouse for research purpose is about three years. So the question is why their lifespans are different. So that's a very interesting question. So maybe genetic difference between the mouse and human may account for this different aging rates. And that they have different efficiency of DNA repair system. And then they are, they are very different in a way to how to metabolize energy. And that they have different rates of renewing cells. And the important thing is there, there is another difference, that is microbiome. Like stars and galaxies in our universe, there are a tremendous number of microbial cells in our body space. So human microbiome consists of 100 trillion microbial cells in our body. Those microbial cells are very important for our health. These are the uh, different patterns, microbial patterns in different human organs. And then they have uh, very different functions in our body. And then they are really closely related with the human disease. For example, the people affected by anxiety disorder, they have an uh, ab abnormal composition of gut flora. So the gut flora is very important, particularly important. So by doing research on their functional roles, that we can characterize the gut flora as a forgotten human organ. There is a one possibility raised, that is the mammalian immune system is in fact controlled by microorganisms. That's very surprising. The question that we have, the whether those microbiome patterns is changing according to the aging process. So my lab analyzed different microbiome patterns is according to aging process. So indeed, microbiome patterns of mouse is changing according to aging process. So the microbiome patterns of elderly and young individuals have very different two uh, proportion of two groups of bacterial cells. That is, those are the uh, bacteroidates and formicutes. The elderly individuals have a high proportion of bacteroidates, whereas the young individuals have high proportion of formicutes. So what, are, what is uh, uh, their function in the bodies? This is the best example. So the uh, gut microflora, they promote the level of serotonin in, in the body. So serotonin is a uh, um, signaling molecule that control diverse body function. They control the gut movement and they control our brain function as well. So this led us to design an experiment which connected two mice to one. And then this experiment enabled us to exchange their bloodstream. Indeed, the microbiome patterns of old mouse was drastically changed to the that of young. So that's very interesting and surprising result. And then look at this slide. And then the uh, microbiome patterns of um, old mouse was drastically reversed to the that of uh, young mouse. And then uh, this led us to another, another experiment, design the another experiment. So we thought there is something in the blood, whether that is produced by microbiome cells or not, that controls the microbiome patterns. So we really wanted to find what are those. So this is our another experimental design. So we injected the blood plasma of young mouse to the old mouse. <coughs> then we observed identical result that we observed from the parabiosis experiment. So that was really interesting. So this, uh, uh, this uh, something in the blood can control the, the microbiome patterns. And then if we can reverse the microbiome, gut microflora from old to young, that means we can reverse our aging process. So taken together, the microbial cells can affect our body functions, and even they can reverse our aging process. They control our brain functions, they control our metabolic functions, and even 
they can control the, our aging process. That's very interesting. So here I have a question. Is it really possible to re reverse our aging process by controlling gut microbiomes? If so, what are the consequences from that rejuvenation? Thank you.